let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey, how about going on a scenic journey? Beautiful snow, the first snow of 2022. Ended up taking a day off because we were going to be putting plywood on the roof on a, on a building job. It's just beautiful out. Today we're going to go visit five different covered bridges around the Linden, Lindenville area. We, uh, in Lindenville, Vermont, it's one of the, uh, there's one town that has more bridges, covered bridges than Lindenville. Okay. So this is Schoolhouse Bridge. This is in Linden Corner, Vermont. One of five bridges in Lindenville area. Does Lindenville have the most covered bridges in the state of Vermont? No, there's one other. Uh, the town of Montgomery has six. They beat us by one. One of theirs is like on the border of two towns. So it's like four and five and a half, but that's, that's still pretty close. Anyway, this is Schoolhouse Bridge. We're going to uh, fly around and look at each one of them of the five bridges. Uh, there's only one, let me think, one. There's two out of the five that are still being used in Lindenville, Linden. I'll give you a little history of each bridge as we drone around, okay? All right, shut that puppy off.
All right, this is Sanborn Bridge, bridge number four that we're going to look at, and we're going to go inside, and Lauren's got a little story. We're gonna walk on the bridge, hopefully it doesn't cave in. I don't think I've ever walked on this bridge before. I have. I walked on that side quite a bit. Really? Yeah. Linden Snow Cruisers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It's kind of half my story, but I remember being a kid and going to McDonald's and they would have these black and white pictures on the wall of certain things. Uh, what stories would you tell me about those pictures? We, I was uh, probably in first grade or kindergarten when they moved this bridge from about two miles away. They moved it uh, to put in a cement or a concrete bridge. So they moved it up the main street of Lindenville and I actually, the picture that's in McDonald's is right within a hundred feet of where uh, I was standing when they moved it. It was like a big parade type thing. It was a huge event for the area back in uh, around uh, early 1960s. I don't remember exactly what year, but they moved it here and set it. And it's kind of just been sitting here. They've, it's had different uses. It's had a real estate office in here for a while. That's gone because the bridge isn't safe enough now, but they do use this for snowmobiles, a snowmobile path to cross through. Sanborn Bridge, bridge number four. We have one more to go. McDonald's doesn't actually have that picture up anymore. They took them all down. Hey, uh, I just saw a little path. We're going to go down underneath the bridge, take a look at it. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. Um, Are you coming? I don't know. You want me to take the mic? Yeah. All right, let's see what's under here. I've come down through here before in a white water canoe race. This wasn't very much white water. But look at that those beams those are old nice big overhang the reason they have bridges covered back then was to keep them dry so they wouldn't rot out for one thing and I suppose if you were traveling you could get in somewhere out of the weather there we have it okay